Hello, my friends, viewers, and followers. I'm so glad you tuned back in to another video of the Devout, uh, Introduction to the Devout Life, or also called Philotea. And you can see my little dog, um, Sina, is here right beside me, laying beside me. And some is actually laying on the other side. You can't see him right now. Maybe later. But we're going to do a meditation and meditation number three today. So let's settle ourselves. Come into a quiet and calm state. Breathing and just calming yourself down, quietening the mind. Letting go of the day you had, letting go of the day you may have still ahead. Come into this present moment. You can also always do um, the breathing that I have taught in all other videos where you inhale light and exhale darkness. You can practice that breathing deeply. And then you place yourself in the presence of God. Call yourself into your mind that God is omnipresent everywhere with you right now. Entreat him to inspire you to Open your mind, your eyes, your ears, your heart. Taking your time. Just be here now. Reflections. Consider the personal gift which God has given you, your body, which is the means of preserving it, your health and enjoyments, your friends, your helpers. Then compare yourself with many who deserve more than you and yet are deprived of these mercies. Some imperfect in health or in the bodily frame and members. Others suffering under contempt, dishonor and injustice. Others struggling with poverty. From all this, God has preserved you. Secondly, consider your mental gifts. How many there are in the world who are idiots, fools, or madmen? Why are you not amongst them? God has been very gracious to you for whilst many are brought up in negligence and utter ignorance. His providence has given you a good and valuable education. Consider your spiritual gifts. You are a child of the church and have been trained in its doctrines from maybe childhood on or now. How often has God granted you to partake of his sacraments? What inspirations, inward, enlightened corrections has he given for you amendment? 
How often has he forgiven your sins? How often has he delivered you from the dangers into which you willfully led you? In all your past life, has it not been a means of advancing the welfare of your soul? Count and see how gracious the Lord has been to you. Affections and Resolutions Admire the goodness of God. Oh, how good is my God to me! How rich in mercy, how abounding in loving kindness is his heart! O oh, my soul, never be thou weary of recounting his mercies. Consider your own ingratitude, but what am I, O Lord, that thou remembered me? How great is my unworthiness! Alas, I have trodden thy mercies underfoot, I have abused thy goodness and despised thy sovereign grace. I have opposed the depth of my ingratitude to the depth of thy favor and grace. Excite thy gratitude. Arise then, O my soul. Be no more faithless, ungrateful, and disloyal to thy mighty benefactor. What? What shall not my soul henceforth be subjected to God, who has worked such marvels of grace in me and for me? Then, my daughter, leave of these thy besetting sins, subject thy whole body to the service of God, who has done such great things for it. Apply thy soul to know and approach him through the appointed channels. Avail thyself carefully of the means provided by the church for thy advancement toward salvation and the love of God. Be frequent in prayer and in receiving the sacraments, in hearing God's word, in heeding all inspirations and counsels. And the conclusion. Thank God for the knowledge which he has given thee of thy duty and for all his past benefits. Thank God for all he has done for you. Offer to him thy great heart together with all thy resolutions. Make a resolution to be more grateful towards God. Pray that he will give thee strength to pursue them faithfully through the merits of the death of his son and ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin and all of the saints.
And let's pray the Our Father to close the meditation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And in German, in Deutsch. Vater unser im Himmel, geheiligt werde dein Name. Dein Reich komme, dein Wille geschehe, wie im Himmel so auf Erden. Unser tägliches Brot gib uns heute und vergib uns unsere Schuld, wie auch wir vergeben unseren Schuldigern. Und führe uns nicht in Versuchung, sondern erlöse uns von dem Bösen. Denn dein ist das Reich und die Kraft und die Herrlichkeit in Ewigkeit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Gegrüßet seist du, Maria, voller Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen, und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Im Namen des Vaters und des Sohnes und des Heiligen Geistes. Amen. And now form a spiritual nosegay, a spiritual bouquet, something that you're going to take from this meditation into your daily life, into the next week, into the next two weeks actually, till the next meditation. Take on some gratitude and to make a resolution that you will be more grateful towards God, towards the benefits that he has given you. Even if you are suffering, know that you are where God has placed you and exactly where you need to be right now. Nothing is unknown to God and nothing is not in the plan of God and can benefit you, even if you are in a difficult place. You are probably in a place though too where you can be thankful towards God, even if you are suffering in one area, you are blessed in another and can be grateful. And take this into your day, into your week, into the next weeks to come, just the gratitude. And you know, you can develop a practice of gratitude every morning or every night or even both. You can thank God and tell him in the morning three things that you're grateful for and three things in the evening that you have been grateful for um, for that day. And even if it's just that you're grateful for uh, little things in your life, uh, little things that you have, you have been preserved from, you can find something that you can be grateful for and apply that to your life, this practice. And just ask God to bring an attitude of gratitude into your life. And you see, if you're grateful for things, you actually come out of depression and the depth of being sad and maybe feeling sorry for yourself. It will lift your spirit immediately because a grateful soul is not a sad soul.
If you can be grateful, you can actually be happy even in the midst of any difficult that you might be facing. So I hope to see you next week again. Next week, we're going to have on Friday, we're going to have another lecture and we're alternate, as I say, the meditations on Fridays with a little lecture. So I hope you enjoyed this meditation and tell me in the comments how you might have been benefited from it. God bless you and keep you safe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, maybe put down a like and may God bless you and keep you safe the next week. Until then.